That poor horse was probably trying to escape the heat that we've been having in October, middle of October, and we are seeing almost record highs. We're a few degrees off from record highs, but it is very warm out there today and a lot of cloud cover today as well with breezier conditions. Here's a look at our village at Meridian and here's a time lapse of that cloud cover throughout the day, not getting any respite whatsoever as the clouds have just continued to roll in, bringing with them plenty plenty of wind. We've had gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Here's a look at Nampa. You can see traffic is flowing pretty good right now. Of course, with all the construction happening, that's a hit or a miss some days. 80 degrees right now in the Treasure Valley. This is at the Boise Airport. My goodness, and winds coming out of the south-southeast, 14 miles per hour. We have been seeing gusts this uh, hour up to 25 miles per hour. So very windy conditions out there, which could be spreading some dust and those allergens around too. So our allergies are your allergies are probably acting up today as well. Don't worry, relief is in the near future, at least a small amount of relief. This is the system that we're under right now, though. It clouds have been rolling in in front of a low pressure system that's got rain on the shores of the Pacific Coast right now. Those rains are headed our way. Here's a look at today's almanac to give us just a little idea. Record high of 86 in 2005. We had 80 today for our high thus far. Very close to a record temperatures. Of course, nowhere near our low temperature of 21. In fact, last night I was getting out of the gym at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's when I get out of the gym because I work evenings. And it was so warm. I, was, I thought to myself, I actually need to open up my window to warm up my apartment. That's how warm it is. My apartment was so cool. Currently around the area, 77 degrees in Twin Falls, 71 in Ontario. And you can see right where that edge of the front is. If we had temperature readings over here, we'd see they'd be 10, 15, even 20 degrees cool than areas where it's just cloud cover and some of that heat has actually been trapped because of the cloud cover. So uh, we are going to see a very cool temperatures in the near future. We do have a red flag warning in uh, northern Nevada because of high winds there and low relative humidity. Also wind advisory in eastern portions of the Magic Valley. They are going to have gusts up to 40 miles per hour in that area. Here's a look at wind speeds in the Treasure Valley coming up out of the southeast. 15 miles per hour, 13 miles per hour. Very windy day. We're going to see those winds shift tomorrow to be coming up out of the southwest as that front makes its way into our area. Take a look at our system as you see the live radar here. That system's making its way very slowly into the Treasure Valley, into western Idaho. It's going to hit us around 6 a.m. tomorrow and it'll stay with us because it's so slow. It'll stay with us most of the day into the evening, having a chance of precipitation in the Treasure Valley up into the Central Mountains and maybe in the Magic Valley. A little less of a chance in that area. Here's a look at the uh, precipitation future cast though and you can see as it makes its way into our area, Wednesday, great chance of seeing some showers, even snow above 7,000 feet in parts of the Central Mountains. And it doesn't show up as well in the Treasure Valley, but there's a 40% to 50% chance of seeing things in Boise, a little bit even better uh, in the lower Treasure Valley, parts of Caldwell. That's going to move on out of the way, though. We are going to have cloud cover in Thursday, but we're going to start to warm up Thursday as well. Look, what we're going to have Wednesday here is that, again, that's just going to be moving into our area. Very warm, though. It's a very sheer front where it's going to be warm off to the east of that front as it makes its way into the area. Late week, though, that jet stream is going to push right back up. We actually should have some sunny, uh, sunny days and then some cloudy days. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. Tomorrow, breezy conditions, very similar to today. Chance of showers in the valley. Take a look at the Treasure Valley temperatures. In the low 60s, we're going to have a good chance of seeing showers starting again, 6 a.m. all the way through the evening towards about 8 o'clock p.m. or so near sundown. The West Mag Western Central Mountains, it's going to be very cool. Only a high of 48 in McCall, but warm overnight. Again, it's not that front is going to come into our area early morning, which means it's going to stay warm overnight until it actually hits us. It's going to be cool up in Stanley, 65 degrees. Chance of showers up there, breezy in the Camas Prairie. And in the Magic Valley, it's going to be very breezy. About a 20% chance of seeing showers there. Winds will be coming out of the southwest, 10, 20 miles per hour. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Take a look at my extended forecast here and you can just see we're going to be it's a roller coaster for the next week it's going to be nice it's going to be cool it's going to be clear it's going to be cloudy and that's just that low pressure system that's going to be sitting off that off that coast uh, in the Alaska uh, Gulf of Alaska that it's just sending little things our way and we're just we're just getting clipped so we're sort of Michelle right on the edge of that system <laughs> and it's causing a lot of volatility so we're going to have an interesting 
few days in the near future. I was already looking ahead to the weekend because it is Tuesday, right? That's what we do. And it looked pretty good. I mean, it looks like it's setting yep. up to be a nice weekend for us at this point. At this point in time, yes, because it's so volatile, you just never know. <laughs> Stay tuned.